In today's video, I have an absolutely insane solo queue video for you guys. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail, I have mastered positioning in Rainbow Six Siege solo queue. I end up actually getting 16 kills and two deaths in this game in the span of six rounds. And there's a whole bunch of clutches in this video too that I managed to escape with. I break these situations down and give you the tips and necessary information you need so that way you can apply this skill set to yourself. I go over positioning and decision making and how I utilize both of those things throughout this video. But with all of that being said, let's jump into the video. It's a little, it's a little quiet. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. I'm gonna go put my Valkyrie over here actually. I wanted to put on a new hatch, but I can put it in another position that I'll see new hatch anyways. Also, yeah, like I, like I was saying, uh, let me know what you guys... Let me know what kind of playstyles you guys want to see me play. Like, do you guys want to see me play, like, hard support? Like, always trying to plant and with the fuser and stuff like that? Or you guys want to see me play, like, entry fragger more and try to be a little bit more frag-oriented? Just let me know, like, in the uh, comments what you guys are interested in. Using light with Valk, by the way, is a great way to kind of conceal them. Because, like, the Valk cams are kind of transparent, so the light... Light helps with that. Mm. I should be able to see through this, right? Is that an Amaro? What the hell? I'm breaking glass for sound propagation. So here's a cam that I threw. It's gonna see red. Huge first pick. I'm just I'm just gonna be playing piano here for to shoot drones and then fall back pretty much. I, I hear Habana opening the red wall right now too. So there's that. Or was she opening hatches? Oh she opened the hatches. So there's one drone there. Just burn the Aruni. I'm standing on this to ch Oh, they burn an Aruni on the hatch. I'm gonna play off this Aruni for audio cue. And I'm standing on this until I get droned, because they don't have info on me right now. So, if I want to peek, then I can change my head elevation. Up red. Alright, I'm gonna back up now. Because I don't want to be stuck here. And I've already shot drones. So I got three drones from that one position, which is huge. Just a lot of info. Um, like that's gonna be denied later round. I'm they have no, they have no more Havanas. Okay, just a Savannah, silent Havana. That's Havana. That was a silent Havana pellet. Yeah, they, they hard breached that. I, I heard that twitch, by the way, in bathroom. That's why I swung like that. Good calls. Good calls by my teammate. Thank you. Okay. You just ruined it. Protect the bomb. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys a super OP Valcam spot, but <clears throat> before that... Why is that in Russian? What the f... What is happening? This is the most peculiar solo key game I've ever been in. I'm gonna shoot the strona here so they don't see me throw the cam. Here we go. 
So up in this corner, if you throw a Velcam, it's really well hidden. Um, like that, as you see. And then you can see clear as day as well. You guys are feeding me drones, which is nice. I'm also going to prep this to vault up here later on in the round if I need to. In case I need a rat out on breach or something. You know, that's a good position to play. If you, uh... If you did not know about that, that's a Camera great position. Mm. That's gonna be a shitty Valkam, but it's giving us info that we need. I would have much rather put it in VIP to be honest with you. On the uh, on the light. Red Hall Zone. I kind of want to work an early pick here. Um, just because we get lost someone so fast, but we'll have to see. We do have Kate on Breach, which is nice. Yeah, we got to work a pick here now. I have this a uh, this uh I lose it to my right so I can play audio off of that. And prep. Prep. That's the prep guy. O opening your red wall. Still above? What the hell? Ah, uh, four is located above. No one. Ah, uh, four is located above. Ah, four is located above. Ah, Oh, I had to position my ass off there. Holy smokes. Ha <laughs> Ooh. I had to position my ass off there. Holy shit. <sighs> and that's, uh, that's how you do it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I did some crucial shots there, too. Um, I, so, so there... Um, I knew where all three were at, because I was fighting the Twitch Rice, which is that corner that she was in, uh, prep window. I heard the Thermite to my right, and as, soon as, as, and as soon as I heard the Sludge still sledging above, then I knew that I had three 1v1s that I could uh, utilize to my advantage if I positioned myself correctly. So, um, you know, and then me rotating around Whiskey and things like that for the Red Breach and, and whatever else it might be. Um, but yeah, good calls by my teammate there. Um, and yeah, that's... Uh, what was it like a 1v2 v4 1v3 clutch i think something along those lines that ella definitely uh did some uh work too she put in some damage on some people so i could kill them a little faster i believe the thermite so yeah for that drone uh, he broke the glass there it's unfortunate it is what it is though Can we get him a Lucy on the, the double door here? Five and uh, mining? I'm just realizing a gap there, so I want to get info on that walk in just in case. Making footholds here for the uh, the red 
Uh, jump in. Slap that in there. This wall sucks for destruction. That's, uh, that's it. It's terrible. Gager, if you need to, you can just leave early, yeah. Fletch is upstairs. We have pillar cam? You're not, that's unfortunate. Nice early pick. I have an, I have an Ella mine on White Stairs, so I'll know when someone's there, unless they drop the laundry hatch. That the, that's the only way they can get down to me right now. He's watching that, so I don't need to watch that right now. I'm watching one side. I have my Lucy there too, so I can play up info here. I do kind of want to rotate site here a little bit later. Um, just because I do have the, the Nitro. White stairs audio call. I'll let you in when he's up white, white stairs. Yeah. One might be in the library. Pushing it white, pushing it white. Oh, wait, wait, one uh, pillar, one pillar. One friendly remaining. Uh, four. Op 4, last operator standing. Be advised, Op 4 has located a bomb. Down to 15 seconds. White, white stairs on you. Yeah, white stairs. Oh, I got lucky. I'm getting so lucky. So I I knew I had the Elamine there and the Malusi. Um, and I just pretty much wall banged off the Elamine because I knew he was going to be concussed and he won't be able to see, right? Because like, like you really can't see with the Elamine for like the first second. And it just detonated, so I just used that to my advantage. Pretty much there. Um, so yeah, that's the explanation for me killing the Thermite. And then, like, my teammate died to the Nomad, I pretty much just reacted to that. Um, and like I said earlier, so... Actually, what I did there was I was listening for White Stairs, the Elamite and the Malusi, like I said. And then I was looking where the uh, Nomad was. So I was using my audio for one area, and I was using my um sight my vision putting my crosshair in another area so that way i knew where both attackers were and i was also eliminating the white angle so that way i can still hear the thermite but i'm not exposing myself to him but i can still fight the nomad so i was fishing out the 1v1 there and the 1v2 um and that's something that i tell a lot of my clients in my coaching sessions um that's my solo queue account What's what, what do you mean? What's my main? This is just your solo queue account. Yeah, are you asking like my main name, or? No, your main rank. Your main rank. Oh, like uh, diamond champ. Diamond champ. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, like I said, uh, that's a big thing that I go over in my coaching sessions. And it drastically changes how people position themselves in decision making and how like how easy it can be from losing clutches to just winning them with what, that one thing that you can do. Um, so that's something that I help out a lot with my clients. Uh, and if you guys are interested in coaching, there's a link to it down below in the description. Um, if you're looking to get better at Siege, I definitely suggest it. I love helping out people uh, get better at the game. 
I love it. Are they downstairs? I think so. Yeah, it's kitchen. Okay. They have a mozzie. I've, I've Frank Sinatra's fly me to the moon stuck in my head right now. Hey, you guys are gonna need to go above to get the shit off the wall for uh, Ace here. Sledge or fuse? I can get it, I just need some. I can, I can drone you up. Uh, we have Twitch actually getting it off, I believe. I'm still just gonna go fuse upstairs. Oh no, Mozzie's up there. Fuck. Can you not die for a sec? I still have a Cade here. Frag grenade out. He's in the coat. Honestly, probably should have fought the Azami there, but I knew where she was and I didn't. I, I just heard the Cade shoot Red Hull, so I wanted to react off the Cade before he got into sight and I had a, uh, um, a 2v1 on the bomb site. Because I heard him Red Hull, I just didn't know exactly where he was and I knew he was in coat, vaulted through into reception. So I knew he was going to be back VIP if you guys saw how I pre preamed that earlier on. Um, See, so yeah, that's just unfortunate how that happened. I was expecting him to be like. At the doorway, not like in the hallway. I should have been preaming it either way, but it is what it is. Can't win them all. Can't win them all. <clears throat> Pretty much just face checking these two, the the window and the door, just for uh, swamp peaks and stuff, you know, just in case. I'm gonna need uh, Zoe or Ash to open hatches, or if Ace has breaching charges. I'm gonna get on his repel early here. Uh, is there bandits on this or is this a Cade? I got the Cade. Pretty much just doing that for the Cade, like you saw. Right underneath Hatch, he threw it on the table. Give me a drone piano. Leave a red flank drone for the Ash, as well as I, I can do it. Ash, watch the last drone. Uh, watch drone three. Where's the Jaeger? Where's that pixel? Okay, I can drone. I I can nade if you drone. Okay. I can drone. Uh, they have bathroom rotate, he's in bathroom. Oh, there's their C4. Yeah, one uh, bottom red stairs, like kind of near this ping. Two downstairs. I'm picking him, he's, he's on top of the drone right now. Uh, bathroom. Cage is going up. I'm out! Gotta reload! Bro, are you kidding me? 
I got Legion injured here. Okay, there's last two are sight. I got one injured. I think you see one. I'm just, I'm just gonna nade him. Okay, the other one's below. There's only one site right now. Six site. Cocktail, right side. My mouse just bugged. He's dead. Coming up white. No, still below. Still below. You have red cam? Yeah, I'm still watching it. On bottom red, bottom red right now. Yeah. The other one's white. The claymore top red. This Kate is my kryptonite. Bro. Uh, I wish my teammate didn't peek white, bro. Oh no. I wish that K didn't peek, or that Ace didn't peek white. There's no reason for him to. That was that was a winnable round. I shouldn't have pre-fired there either on white. I should have just held it. I wanted to pre-fire him though, because I thought he was gonna like be coming up the stairs just based off how he was sprinting and sprinting and getting louder and louder. Like that's pretty easy to pre-fire stuff like that, and most of the time it does work, but uh there it unfortunately didn't. Man, I wish my teammate didn't die there. I wish he'd like to Did he, he went to bathroom, didn't he? I don't know why he went to bathroom. Because, like, you want to position yourself there where you put yourself furthest from one enemy, and then you also cut off the other, which is what I did. Um, Like, I knew Cade was on white, and my teammate was calling the other one red, so I pretty much positioned myself in Coxo where I eliminated the red guy, and then I just uh, was going to hold the white walk up, but he crossed when I crossed a cocktail, which is unfortunate. See if I can't get a pick here, maybe. On, uh, on this window. The people who don't know this is reading door. They're upstairs. Excuse me. There's two cocktail. No idea where the one cigar went. Let's band up. Launching drone. Do we have a red flank cam? Uh, watch the last drone. Okay. Giving you a pillar cam as well then. Uh it's second to last. One bottom white. But okay. like going towards can, can That's Cade. Let's try to Can we can we Can we, can we try and uh, open the rating wall, Ace? My mouse keeps like the sensor keeps bugging or something. That's what my. Dining and then the other one is pillar side. I'm gonna drop. The diffuser has been recovered. 
That's a thorn. Last one was dining door. I'm gonna plant default if you can cover. Rotation and closet Bottom down. I'm gonna go above. Just say love. Say love. Nice. GG. Problem, GG, gentlemen. Nice, nice. I don't know what it is in me and solo queue and cafe, Are you man. Want to carry me to plat? I can't, man. I, this is my solo queue account. I'm sorry. Already in gold. GG's, gentlemen. Already in gold. Not too bad. Uh, I don't know. Again, like I don't know what it is with me, like me, cafe, and solo queue, but I just pop off on it. I guess I don't know. Let's see what my KD is. Six point five. In two games, I have a six point five KD. Not too bad. By the way, if you guys haven't seen the last video, uh, it was on Cafe 2. I had like a... Th I, yeah, yeah, at the beginning of the video, I had a 5.5 KD. So, if you guys want to go see that one too, um, that one's really, really good. I got like four... K or I got eight kills in two rounds. So, I got two back-to-back -back 4Ks. I don't know, man. And, and also, let me know down in the comments, you know, what kind of play styles you guys want to see me do. Like, do you guys want to see me just like rat out and like try to do rat stuff or... Um, like spawn peak or like play hard support with operators. You guys want to see me play like stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm always down to try new things and kind of, uh, you know, do things that will help educate you guys. And like I said, early on in the video, there's a link to my coaching service. So if you guys are interested in that and me helping you improve at siege live in my discord with a one-on-one -on -one session with me, there's a link to my Patreon. I helped over 250 clients and yes, I coach console players. I have a whole bunch of different tiers packages. So you know, if you can't afford something that might be a little bit more expensive, I try to make it affordable. And coaching starts at $7 a month. So even if you want to hit my DMs or whatever it is, ask me questions, you can do that also. You can also find links to all of my social media and my Twitch. So make sure you guys come stop by my stream, say what's up. I love talking to my viewers. And if you have any questions, you know, ask them there too. I'm, I'm always talking to chat and answering questions. So uh, check out my social media, my Twitch, all that good stuff. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. I'll catch you guys in the next one.